delay reaction. There you go. Uh, <laughs> come back in the building. We are just talking about her day today. Okay. I'm waiting for you to come in and ask the questions. Well, welcome to the show. Hello, hello, a friend hello. of the show, a friend of the show. Make sure your mic's on. Yes, it is. Welcome to the show, um, Tasha Diaz. Um, she is a co-host of the show, but she has not been on the show for a while because she is campaigning, and I will not let any of the co-hosts who are campaigning come on the show while they're campaigning. So it can be fair. But now we have her here as the candidate for the first time. Um, you're running for Yonkers City Council District 3. Yes, I am. Yes, she is. So why did you decide to enter into politics? And, I, and I'll tell you a quick story. I know I was telling my mother, my, my, I'm sorry, my sister about um, somebody I dealt with that was a candidate. And all the thing. I mean, that was a before they were a candidate and all the things they were doing for the community. And then I told her they were running for office and she said, that concerns me seriously. I said, why? She said, because politics changes people. <laughs> so, mm. so what made you decide to enter into this arena? Doesn't uh, change your people? Um, well, I've always been in um, public service. So that was you know, one of my um, reasons why I actually wanted to um, run for office. Um, I've also helped a lot of people you know, I've been the back, you know, the back end of a lot of people's campaigns. And um, and I just said to myself, you know, I'm the one that's always in the back. I'm the one that's always helping. I'm the one that's, you know, always putting their events together, whether it be canvassing, whether it be petitioning, you know, I'm always there. So I said to myself, looking at the candidates that we have up and um, me residing in the third district, I felt as, as if, you know, it's time for me to throw my hat in the race. And I just feel like um, it's about time for change in Yonkers. And um, I know I'm a people person, and, you know, I'll put the people before politics. Um, and I just feel like the district has been underserved for so many years, you know, whether it be from, um, I don't know if you know, but um, my district stretches from the south side to the north side. And I just feel like I can be the one to bridge that gap, um, whether it be north or south. Um, both parts of the district need a lot of attention. Um, I'm willing to give it that tender loving care that it needs. <laughs> um, and I just feel like it's time for change. You know, um, we have the same players in the game. We're just changing the positions. And it's about time that that changes as well. Okay. Mm. So, 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 okay. Hold on, 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 hold on. So how did you do this? I'm watching this interview on Tasha's Facebook page. Oh. But I can't get it on my, like, how did you, how did you get the show? I started a watch party. Yeah, but still, it wasn't streaming on Facebook. But I'm watching it. And, and and I got Tammy said I'm watching I'm watching on Facebook I'm watching on Facebook and she was leaving comments for her for her friend you go girl and all that I don't okay I'm sharing this on my page now I don't know what happened oh okay yeah, I started a watch party all yeah right, but Tasha. where 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 did you where was where it did at? you get that from oh of, it's on AJ's it's page. it's not AJ's on page. my personal page it's not on his page it's and I on my it's on my it's from on, YouTube. No, it's on my... Um, no, it was actually from his page. I have a page, um, an author page, uh, um, a regular page. I have two, three pages. I have mm -hmm. the personal page, but you know, I have a Black Westchester page. Yeah, yeah, a, yeah. I have an A.J. Woodson. It's in all capitals. And that's evidently where the show is. Because I'm looking at it right now. A.J. Woodson, all capitals? Yes. And I just shared it to my to my oh. regular page. Hopefully, it's there now. Let me see. Let me refresh. Okay, so that's where it went. It didn't go to my, but it's not on my. I didn't. Okay. No, it's I, not there yet. I don't know how that happened. Let's see. Share. Share as in. No, it's only letting me share. Oh. Page. Start a watch party, AJ. I'm trying to share it to my timeline. Here though timeline y'all have to bear with me because we were having no we having a lot of technical we, difficulties today there was, but AJ's doing there the was best no can. there was no okay it's on my page now okay because of tasha oh thank you see tasha 
So I can't because I can't. Uh-huh. But 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 Tammy watched the whole interview with Maxine. She was commenting <laughs> and everything. I'm here. I'm on Facebook, and I'm telling people it's not on Facebook. Okay, all right. So anyway, um, yo, that's what happens when you're on live radio. It's um, you know, things happen and it's live. So <laughs> okay, back to you, Tasha. <laughs> oh, I see it. <laughs> yeah, it's on your page. Because I was looking and I'm going through and it said Tasha. And it said watch party. Yeah. And it said watch party. And I clicked on it and I'm watching the show. I'm like, yo, we're not on. How did you do that? So if I click on watch party, it goes on my page? No, actually, you just click, you click share. Again. You can share it like you share it normally. Just oh, click share. Page, like I'm live. Yeah. Okay. Click it on your. Sh- so, Tasha, um, um, you have many talents. Save um, the day. You have many talents. Um, finding the show on Facebook is one of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 um, now going back to um so that's why you decided to run. Um you you have a primary, you face two other candidates. Um um why are you the candidate that people should vote for? Be- um I feel as if I'm the candidate that the people should vote for because I am a people person. Um like I said, um my family has raised me to be out in the community. Um not just you know, to sit there as a body, to go out in the community and make a difference. Because if you're not going out in your community and making a difference, you really have not too much say so. For the simple fact that if you're not part of a solution, you're part of a problem. Mm. And um, as I was just um, explaining to Lorraine um, yesterday, when I came in with the food delivery, um, people were saying, wow, you know, you're running and you're still doing this? And I said, why not? It, it's not going to change the person that I am today or yesterday, you know, me running. Some people run for their own personal political gain, and that is not me. I think it's about time that um, the community is elevated, and um, I just feel as if like I said, I can be the one to elevate the community. I mean, there's a lot of concerns, you know, whether it be on the north side. Um, one of my concerns is um, the foot patrol. And a lot of people, me knocking on doors, express that to me as well. Um, the foot patrol is very important, you know, especially up on Lake Avenue. You know, we just heard about the senseless tragedy that just happened. Um, I just feel as if it needs to be more foot patrol and bike patrol as well. Um, The summer is vastly approaching, and um, I just feel as if I don't want children to be afraid to go to Kingsley Park, you know, to be afraid to go to the store to buy an ice cream or pizza or just walk around in their community. I mean, I just feel as if people shouldn't be scared to come out. I mean, the summer is coming. I mean, the kids are indoors, you know, for months with the cold weather, and in the summer... It should be where, you know, the children are happy to be out, you know, happy to meet people in the community, you know, just happy to just walk around. And, you know, I feel like like I'm seeing a lot of fear and I feel as if people shouldn't live in fear. You know, um, I have family members, too, that were senselessly murdered as well. Mm-hmm. And um, I just want to say happy birthday um, to Michael Nolan. Today is his birthday. And I'm um, having... And I just feel as if it's a tragedy that his mother has to go and visit him at a grave site. And um, yeah, that really sad. touches my heart because I feel her pain. And it's like the people that have been serving, they're not going out and they're not listening to the people. And that's what makes me different. I have been out listening to the people. And people say, Tasha, we haven't heard a lot from you. We haven't. You know why? It's because I've been listening. And that's the problem that we have. People don't listen. A lot of people talk over you or just talk to hear themselves talk. But that's not the case with me. I mean, I go out. I listen. When I'm knocking on doors, I'm taking notes. I'm listening. I mean, um, I have a north side and a south side. And it's like um, they both have kind of the same issues but different. They both have quality of life issues. Mm -hmm. Um, They both have issues um, with violence. Um, So it's basically, I feel as if I can broaden that horizon. I can bridge bridge that gap 
You know, I can be the people's person. And for many years, the community has not had someone that is a people person. And I just feel like me jumping into the race can change that. Mm. Couple of um, quick things, John, help me, John Rivera's tuned in, Joseph Nigro's tuned in, Wilfred Dennis, Hector Santiago said, do your thing, much respect to you. Thank Tasha. you. Shout out to Ken Bright. Go Hector. Shout out to the um, Future you, Society Hector. and everybody who's tuned in. Um, everybody who missed the first interview, um, it will be on blackwestjustice.com. Our first interview is with New Rochelle candidate Yadira Ramos Herbert, but we were having a problem with the um, the the streaming, so we had to start it over. But her interview, I do have a video, and will be on Black Westchester this week, so you can see um, her interview that from earlier. Um, and then we just had Maxine and Campbell. Um, the author of uh, the book uh, we just talked about. I forgot the name of it that quick. Confessions of a Broken Heart. And now we have um, Yonka's candidate for the 3rd District for City Council, Tasha Diaz. Welcome everybody who's just tuning in for the first time. This is the People Before Politics radio show. Lorraine? Yeah, yeah, I have a, I have a question. Um, Jadira was here, um, with, he just spoke about, it was a candidate for the third district in Rochelle, and she was talking about how she worked in the community, how she worked, in, how she came, it, you know, she was working in the neighborhood, and she turned around and she saw that there was parks in, in the district that were not similar to the parks on the other side of town, and there was a lot of quality of, quality, quality of life issues, and and certain things, you know, like um, um, structural things and housing, and like there was a lot of buildings there, but there no backyard, so they needed park space and every. And and she kind of was like a community organizer, sort of, and which which evolved her into running for city council. Mm -hmm. I know that you've done a lot of the similar things, Tasha. Yes. What are some of the things other than the food program that you've done for the people of the city of Yonkers that have evolved you into the person you are today and the person that wants to run for city council? Well, um, one of the things that I have done is um, starting um, tenants associations throughout the neighborhood. Um, letting people know what their rights are, um, engaging with them. You know, I've helped people um, stop evictions. I have um, went with people and um, helped them get um, emotional support pets. Um, I always, my door is always open. Anybody, not just in my building, but throughout the neighborhood that knows me, they know my door is always open. They always come up and talk to me, whether it be the younger children, to teenagers, or sometimes even older people, because um, not everybody knows their rights. And I just feel as um, me running for office and um, my knowledge about tenants associations and forming and, and, and people's rights, that I could also use that on the flip side and help the homeowners and advocate for them as well, you know, with um, the high taxes, the high water rates in Yonkers, you know, I want people to be able to be like myself and my family, come to Yonkers, make a home in Yonkers, and be able to stay in Yonkers, not not be priced out like I'm seeing a lot of people. And knocking on doors, you know, a lot of people are telling me, you know, the water rates are sky high. Um, we can't really afford to stay here. We love Yonkers, but we can't really afford to stay here. And these are the people that I'm saying, Hold on. Just hold on tight. I, I hear your pain. I'm here for you. I'll be the one to bring him back to City Hall and, and, and sit down and see how we can work together so these people's, people are not priced out of their homes. Mm. That, that seems to be going on a lot. Um, gentrification. Uh, they come in and they rebuild and the people who live there can't no longer afford to live there. I mean, they did it in Harlem and parts of Brooklyn and 
parts of the Bronx and, and you Yonkers know Yonkers Waterfront. Yeah, well, Yonkers Waterfront. So um, definitely. So um, what would you say some of the challenges? You're District Three. So what, what, first off, what is District Three for all of us that don't live in Yonkers? Um, what what you know what does that encompass? And what would you say are some of the concerns? Uh, in District 3. And uh, hold on. So John got joke. <laughs> he said, um, John, John first said, Tasha Diaz, I can clearly say you won. So when are we going to party? And then said, you all help me to, especially when I'm feeling down and when I'm having problems, Tasha for 3rd District and A.J. Woodson for POTUS. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but Why, I think, thank you. <laughs> President of Black Westchester. That's, that's as far as we're going. But um, yeah, so what is the 3rd District and... Um, what is oh, oh wait, issues? wait, wait. Happy birthday, John. Today's John's birthday. Happy oh, birthday, John happy Rivera. Birthday, happy birthday, John. John. I happy put it on birthday. your Facebook, but I'll give it to you here live. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, John. So so what what is the third district for us that don't know that don't live in Yonkers? And what are some of the issues that, that face the third district that you that you would like to help? Well, the third Maybe. district consists of the north and the south. The district is actually split. So it goes um, like this long, and then it, it's a like a, a piece out of it, and then it jumps to the north. Okay. So what streets would like that would know that the third district street? What streets that I know that would be in the third district? Uh, part uh, Morningside. Morning. No, Lake. he doesn't know Morningside. Lake. Uh, Morningside. A Palisade. South, South Broadway. Okay. He's been there a okay. little bit of North Broadway. Okay. Some a little bit of South Broadway. Riverdale. Okay. Okay. The upper end of Riverdale. Okay. okay. Um, so my district is very diverse and multicultural, which I love. Um, in engaging with constituents and knocking on their doors, I've seen, you know, quality of life issues, infrastructure is another big issue. Um, community centers is another issue that they're having. Um, schools. Our schools are crumbling, mm. not only in the third district, but throughout Yonkers. Mm. But a lot of our, our schools in Yonkers, um, well, excuse me, in the third district are crumbling. Mm -hmm. I live right down the hill from a school. It was School 19. I know everybody that has lived in Yonkers or, you know, knows about School 19. That school has been um, on Jackson for years. Um, my Did older making... sister actually attended, my uncle. I went there first grade, but they're making that into affordable housing now. Not affordable Not housing, housing. Exactly. Housing. Housing. Housing, not affordable housing. And housing. that's what scares me, because we need to make housing affordable, and that is the problem. Um, my building is uh, one of the buildings that is affordable housing. Um, Eugene Conroy is my um, building owner. He actually owns about 40-plus affordable housing buildings from Yonkers all the way up to Newburgh. Mm. And um, he's always involved in the community. You know, um, a lot of the things that I provide to the community is because of Eugene Conroy. Um, when I do um, the Jefferson Terrace cooking class, which I am the co-founder, my sister is the founder, I'm the co-founder. And um, when we do that, he, su he, he supplies everything. Um, when I do things in the community, he supplies everything. And I don't just leave it to my building. I open it up to the community because it's not fair, you know, that um, the children have nothing to do or nowhere to go. And I just feel as if um, we need a wake-up call because there's a lot of talent in Yonkers and it's not being seen. And, it did, you know, there's a lot of things that you do, Tasha. For example, you did a prom dress giveaway you did a, you did turkey drive giveaway yes. you do your food distribution um i attended uh the christmas party you have for the children in the community where you gave 300 plus toys out free plus you had refreshments and and pictures with santa claus and and a whole bunch of other things what are some of the things you, you're looking forward to doing uh, doing as a city council one well i would love to bring those activities that I'm just doing in the community to the entire district. That's what I would love to do. I, I, I want to bring, I want to implement everything that I've been doing. The services, the services. Yes. yes. It, everything, whether it be the cooking class, whether it be the movie night, 
whether it be um and, and, and another thing that I was looking into was the apprenticeship jobs. There you go. You know, I graduated from Saunders Trade and Technical High School, as is my sister did in um, 2007. My daughter graduated in 2017, and my son will be graduating this year. So we all have had the luxury of having a trade while leaving high school. And I think we need to bring in more schools like that. Um, and also uh, along the trail, I've met a, a guy by, na by the name of Mr. Reynolds, and he's willing to help me start this apprenticeship program in the neighborhood so that way any and everybody can come out. Would you be and working be with, I'm sorry, would you be working with the unions? I mean, uh, uh, I would love to work with the unions. They had a, they had a, um, they had a program called the apprenticeship, uh, well, a pathway to apprenticeship that it, it, it was start, it started. It was very successful. Um, there were a couple of people from Yonkers, uh, you know, that worked there and they're still actually working with that actual union. And, um, and speaking to them, I, I, you know, I would love to work with them because they want to bring this program back because they said um, the people that they got through this program were excellent people. They were excellent workers. And these were people that were willing to learn that never had um, a skill in this expertise. But these people opened up the doors and let them in. And it has changed their lives. They're still working for, for the union today as we speak. Mm. And that's what I want to that's what I want to bring into Yonkers. I want to bring in prosperity, longevity. Um, I'm all for um, local building, you know, building local economy as long as it's sustainable. And that is the number one thing. It has to be sustainable. It has to be, you know, the people that live in Yonkers should be the ones that they shoot. First goal, yeah. Yes, they should be have first choice. Whether it be to work on them, on, on the buildings, whether it be to occupy a certain amount of apartments in those buildings. And I will advocate for that because we want Yonkers people to stay. We don't want the people that come from the city to come in and, and, and get the cheaper rent and jump on the Metro North and go and spend their money in the city. If you live in Yonkers... I believe you should be in Yonkers and you should be supporting our small businesses and, and to keep Yonkers thriving. Yeah, that's that. We have, we have a question um, from John Rivera. He said, when, when you are in office, can you please, all capital letters, please address the mental health issue, especially the long waiting list? Yes, I will. Um, mental illness is running rampant throughout Yonkers. Throughout, yes, it is. It, it, and um, a lot of people turn a blind eye to it. I see it. You know, I address it as much as I can. You know, I give out the proper pamphlets or lead them to the proper um, Agency. peoples or Agency. agencies or wherever they need to be, you know, to give them that little peace of mind to say that somebody cares. Because that's all it takes is for someone to care. You know, if, if if you're out here and you feel as if no one cares about you, some people feel like, why? You know, why should I care if they don't care? And I don't discriminate against anyone. You know, you could be homeless. You could be anyone on the street. I wasn't raised like that. I'm not God. I don't judge people. I'm just here to help people. He also, um, same person, asked the question, can you please address the homeless issue it's a lot of veteran homeless, and yes. I feel sad because they fought for our freedom. Yes. And um, that's one of the things I would like to address as well. Um, working with Ms. Baker and um, Dennis Henretti. Dennis Henretti is stationed in uh, Mount Vernon, but he's a big housing advocate. He has yeah. taught me a lot that I know. What's his name? Dennis Henretti. Oh, um, from, um, what's the name of his organization? Um, I, I got it on the tip of my tongue, but... You're gonna Never be you're gonna be contacting the county to work with with, yeah. with all these right yes. because a lot people, of it falls on the county. Right, he helps people that um can't pay their rent or something or, or um, yes, his organization. With, yes, with yeah, many yeah. with many of things, whether it be um with HUD, 
Right. Um, whether it be with evictions, right. whether it be um, keeping a cap on um, the rent stabilization, um, advocating for people. Between him and um, Miss Deborah Baker, they have taught me a lot that I've known in housing on top of what I've already known and growing up in housing. So I feel like between that expertise and um, I, I can transfer that over to homeowners as well because homeowners, they need someone to advocate for them. Mount Vernon United Tenants. That's what, yes. That's, that's, that's uh, Dennis and Reddy, yeah. yes. Okay. Now, is that how you pronounce I Then I have never pronounced this man's name. <laughs> Hanratty. <laughs> Dennis Because I said Hanratty. No, it's that's Hanratty. what it looks like. H A N. R A T T Y, hand ready. Yes. Okay, so I've been pronouncing your name <laughs> Dennis for the wrong for um, years. five years now. Four four years now. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I know he's helped a lot of people that yes. I know personally. Um, he's an awesome person. Um, um, and what people don't know is that um, when I form these tenants associations, I form mine and I help the neighboring buildings. And then from there, we formed our own board. And that's when we brought in Dennis Hand Ready. So when I went out and formed the boards in um, the neighborhood, we all come together, each person from each board, whether it be the president, the VP, or the executive vice president, we all get together and we meet with um, legal services of the Hudson Valley mm -hmm. and Dennis Henretti, and we tackle the issues that are brought before us. Mm -hmm. And right now, one of the issues that we are tackling is um, one of the buildings, 7383, they're losing their Section 8 HUD um, vouchers this June. Status, really? Yes. And um, the builder never notified them. We found oh. out. And how many people live in the building? How many apartments? It's, it's um, 100 plus units. Wow. Um, we found out about it. Myself, Miss Baker, uh, Mo, uh, Mo Better Perry, um, and... Um, the lawyers from the Hudson Valley. We've all come together and we're tackling this right now because we want to make sure these people are not displaced. So not only am I wow. out running and campaigning, I'm also still attending the meetings that I have started to help these people because I don't want to leave them without. This could be potentially 100 plus people out on the street and that will not happen on my watch. So what we've been doing is we've been going out We've had um, meetings at the Power Lab. We've had um, the tenants come out and voice their concerns. We have drafted letters to certain agents, to different agencies, shall I say. Um, and the, the lawyers of the Hudson Valley, Marcy Kobach, she's been awesome. She's been one of our biggest supporters. She comes to every meeting. And um, doing our research, we found out that, well, we knew that they were not supposed to, uh, that they were supposed to let the, the tenants know that their their um, voucher would be up in June, and they didn't do that. So now people are worried if they're going to be put out of, of their apartments or if they will have a place to stay, and we have, we have reassured them that they will not be evicted due to the fact that um, there is a state law that states that if they did not let the tenants know that the voucher is up and you have to let them know a year in advance that the tenants can stay put. So our goal now is to see if they are going to reinstate the vouchers or if the tenants are able to get vouchers if they want to pick up and leave. So that's where we are right now. The last meeting that we had was last week. It was a very productive meeting. We actually did two meetings in one day. We were there from four in the afternoon until 8 at night. Um, and we came up with a lot of solutions. And um, we made people feel at ease to let them know, come June, you know, you won't be put out of your apartment. Uh, so um, real quick, a couple of quick shout outs. Um, Mo Better is tuned in. Yes, uh, Mo. Pepsi Martinez What's is up, cuzzy? In. Hello, uh, Pepsi. How Hope your you? dog is feeling better, honey. Um, there were a few other people, Maxine uh, Campbell that was just here, she's tuned in, uh, shout out to her, and uh, Alita Johnson, and uh, I think that's all the names that I missed from the last time. Um, if anybody who's just tuning in, you are listening to People Before Politics, um, Black Westchester Radio, um, 
We're on every Sunday, 6 to 8, on TheMixRadio.com, giving you that real talk for the community. Right now we are talking with um, Yonkers City Council candidate Tasha Diaz running for city council in the 3rd District. Yo, you know what I see? So, I, you know, I see there's a lot of times people, I, I cover a lot of elections. and I know a lot of the candidates personally throughout the county. And um, I see a lot of times people talk about what they do. People, um, mm-hmm. they want to do like a photo ops, mm-hmm. like to make it look like they're doing, so they get credit for stuff they didn't do. Um, but now, not even just because your co-host and that Lorraine supports you as a candidate, but you know, I've watched you and you are... I've said this about Brenda that comes on our show. Uh-huh. She, when she, she had lost a, she was a uh, school board trustee, and she, and she's no longer, and she does more work than the trustees that are trustees now. You know what, you know I, what I'm saying? People that do things without a title, those are the people that I, 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 I you know, that's the things I watch. People without a title, you need community that do people. things for the community. Yeah. Um, and you do the food stuff. You do all the things Lorraine named. You. Um, um, quick disclosure, you actually distribute Black Westchester to everybody in Yonkers. You, like, cover Yonkers. If you've seen the Black Westchester in Yonkers, mm-hmm. it's because of Tasha. <laughs> um, so, but you've got so much going on. And, you you know, your family and everything else. And you, you, yes, I'm a wife, you never, mother, yes, and forced you, the parent. And you still, you know, have time for everybody. Like, you still take care of what needs to be taken care of. And those, those things, that, just from a personal observation, um, th- that impresses me about you. So you, you know what Thank else you. impresses me? Because we've had candidates come in here and they say, oh, I belong to this board. I belong to this board. I belong to this board. They belong to a host of boards and they don't do absolutely nothing with, the, with, with it. You don't say, I belong to a board. You come and you say, you know what? I've actually developed created, a board. Yes. I created something. Yes. I saw a problem and I created it instead of sitting on the board and, you, you know, just for name only to put yes. on a list. And a lot know. of people do that thinking that if I join this board, um, I'm going to be effective. And, I, um, and, and knocking on doors, I always tell the constituents, you want someone that you can actually see. Someone that has a proven track record. Someone that can actually be effective. If the person is not effective now and they're not in office, nine times out of ten, when they get into office, they're not going to be effective then. Those are the people that you don't want. Right. Those There's, are the ones that are there for the old photo ops, like AJ said. And, yes. And, and, and I brought that up because we're not going to trash other elected officials. Never. But there was someone who got a lot of credit for stuff that I ended up finding out. It wasn't them. It was Tasha that was doing it. Yes. yes. You know what I'm saying? Even though Tasha was never in the pictures and Tasha never bragged about it and the other person was, you know, taking picture ops and all these other things, I found out it was you. And that, that was one of the first things I noticed and, 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 and I was like, wow, you know. Um, and I still stayed humble. I, I, you know, I never attacked because action speaks louder than words. Right. And I'm speaking now, um, what is that person doing? Nothing. So, <laughs> you know, that says a lot right there. Absolutely, Tasha. Um, Tasha Diaz talks the talk and walks the walk. Not many people that are in office have done that. That's why I said she won. Thank and you. John also said, "This is John Rivera." He also said, I "Have a lot of issues that are not being addressed. I will message you a list." <laughs> Tasha, <laughs> why don't you wait till she gets into office first, <laughs> buddy? Look, I'm, I'm ready to work as now. Many, many times the community <laughs> complains and falls on deaf ears. Yes, and I'm ready to work now. And, John, and you can work people, on her campaign. Yes. You're uh, welcome. Volunteers so, are always welcome. So so saying that, um, for anybody listening, anybody who's going to see this afterwards, um, they like what they hear, they want to know more about you, they want to make a donation, they want to volunteer or whatever, how do people get in touch with you, social media, website, all that good stuff? Well, my social media, um, um, you can go on um, Instagram, Tasha, the number four, for Yonkers. Also, you can go on um, my Facebook, whether it be my personal Facebook or my campaign Facebook. I have them both linked. Um, Tasha Diaz for Yonkers. And, um, or you can also go on Tasha, Tasha, doc, Tasha Diaz dot com. Um, if you would like to um, send in a donation, um, we're accepting donations. Um, 
at um, the address is 108 Jefferson Terrace, Yonkers, New York, 10701, apartment 2H, as in Harry. And it's Friends of Tasha Diaz. Yes, and my campaign is, name is Friends of Tasha Diaz. Um, John Rivera answered you, um, Lorraine, and said, okay, sign me up. Yeah. Why, thank you, John. <laughs> she'll talk to you. She'll talk to you after the show, John. Yes, yes. Um, as we know, the days are counting down. Yes. Yeah. Oh and my I'm God. Gonna... How are you feeling about so that? So we're at I'm feeling good. We're at thirty or twenty nine days or something like that. <laughs> this is the thirty. It's twenty nine because today's the twenty six. So yeah, yesterday would have been thirty or thirty one because there's a thirty. Yeah, I think thirty. Today's thirty days. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we are counting down. So, Holy so, cow! So you have. That's four I've, weeks. I've covered a few events. Um, um, I know that you were endorsed by. Um, a host of people, including the Westchester Latino, Westchester uh, Hispanic Law Enforcement Association, Westchester Hispanic Law Enforcement. Yeah, there you go. That's 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 the one. Blacks um, in law enforcement. Um, blacks in law enforcement, and there were others. Who 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 else? Um, Willie I mean, Colon. Okay. Grammy Award winner, Willie Colon. The salsa legend himself. Yes, he actually came down and personally endorsed me. That meant a lot to me. Um, Willia. Um, I want to thank um, Louis Molina, also Hector. They've all they've been l- like one of my biggest supporters. Um, the Mexican Chamber of Commerce also endorsed her. Yeah, yes, I love them to death. Um, they've been one of my biggest supporters. Blacks and law enforcement. The the Hispanic. Um, Federation Chamber, Chamber of, yeah, of, fe- of Commerce. Federation Federation, Federation. Chamber of Commerce. Or something yes, like that? yeah. 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 And and you also got the support of the the city council president Mike Cater as well. Yes, yes, yes he did say. Mm-hmm. Yes, he, Mike he Cater has he, come out. He's been a big supporter. Amir Rabadi, okay, um, is my doctor. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> the Rabadis are a really, really huge See? professional family in Yonkers. It's so like just, when you say Rabadi, everyone knows. So who I you're met him. About. Is that the one I met at your last function? One of them. That took yes. Me. Okay. He's my doctor, so okay. I, you know, if he had all my functions. I have to have him there. <laughs> 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 just in case my blood pressure and everything, you know. <laughs> Bring your body to Rabadi. But that, that's a good commercial. Yeah. Um, that's a good question. Um, anything I didn't ask you that you want people to know about you? Um, I just want people to know that um, what you see is real. I'm it's not authentic. An actor. <laughs> yes, I'm <laughs> not, not an, an actor. actor. <laughs> I'm very authentic. What you see is what you get. Um, I will tell you the truth as much as it may hurt you. Mm. But if I tell you the truth, you will respect me more. Mm. And I'm not here promising anything because I don't do promises. I'm very effective. Um, whatever I say, I stand by. Um, I will make sure my mission is accomplished. And that, being, that mission being helping the people. Not only of the third district, you know, I want to work with all of the council people. I want to work in unison so that way we can bring some unity into the community. Um, Yonkers could be a little bit more tight knit if we're not divided. And I just feel as if, you know, my district being so multicultural and diverse, um, we could all just, we could all get together. And strength is in numbers. And I feel as if we come together, if we are able to come together, we can get a lot more done. And um, I just hope everyone goes out June 25th. And votes Tasha Diaz. What line? 11A. Very good. And I brought my card with me. If anyone has not seen, it says, I am here for you, Yonkers. Very good. I am here for you. Not for me, for you. And I want people to, to send all of their concerns, issues, anything you have that you need to be put in the forefront that has fallen on deaf ears. Please bring it forth to me because I will make sure that your voice is heard. Shout out to Donna Nolan who just tuned in. She's like, oh my God, I thought you guys were already off. Um, so she caught Hello, the end of Donna. the show. Um, um, Shanice Coleman tuned in. 
Um, she said hi to you, by the way. She said hi, Tasha. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hello, Donna. How are you? Yeah. We wish your son that she wished your son a happy birthday yes. in heaven today. And our condolences with sending you prayers, love and light, Donna. You know, we love you. Yes, that was one of the first things. Uh, you did. Abs absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Lorraine, any uh, last questions for our candidate here? Yeah, I have a question. Uh, school right. system. Yes. Uh, the budget. The budget is constantly a problem when, you know, uh, with uh, threats of layoff. Now we have. Uh, I think 80-something positions that are, see the 100-something or 80-something positions that the superintendent said um, are, are going to be um, laid off, I guess, you know, no longer have a job. And every every year we go through the same thing, you know. How, how what are some of the things that you think, I, I know everyone has tried, but do you have any can I, can I interrupt you? Yeah. Uh, is this something new you're talking about? Because I know when the budget, they were talking about that. No, it's still just, a threat now? They, they, it just came out just the other day, yeah. Okay, because they, they were supposed, uh, supposed to be no danger after the, th the budget went through. Mm, no, so nope, that was nope, it's going to happen. Okay, anything with fire or, 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 or Not police? that I know of. It just, was just the teachers? It, it, yeah, it was just the teachers. Okay, I, I need to talk to somebody about that. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Um, you finish it Yeah, yeah, well... Well, one of, one of the things, like, I, I know that you are not going to go in there, and it would be unrealistic to, and, and, I, and I hate when people ask, you know, what are you going to do to solve the problem? You can't solve the problem by yourself. But no. what are some of the ideas, what are some of the things that you can think of that can probably help move it along a little bit? Well, um, first and foremost, we know our children get shortchanged because, um, the children in Buffalo actually get double what we get mm -hmm. for one child. Yeah, okay, we know so that. that right there is an issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to fight for more funding with that and say, why are our children not as precious as the children in is Buffalo? Is Buffalo twice as big as Yonkers? Or no, they they Buffalo is the fourth largest in the, in the state. I mean, Yonkers is the fourth largest in the state. You know, we it, uh, Brooklyn, Queens. But they get more per child than Yonkers. Mm. Yeah. They get more per child. Oh, we, we know that, but what are some of the things you're going to bring in to make an effective change? Or what are some of the things you, you, some of the ideas that you might have that will help it move along? Well, I feel that we need to go in and sit down and do a line by line and see where the overreach is, whether it be creating jobs that we cannot pay these people for, or whether it be, um, you know, looking at overtime. I mean, if overtime is not needed, that should be something that we should look in to try to cut out. Or we have people that have no-show jobs in Yonkers. That's true. That come and sit. You know, that $40,000 that this person in particular. Wait, you got no-show jobs in Yonkers? Oh, yeah, you know, that's everywhere. Oh, um, we I have thought to that get was rid just of those. Thing. No, 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 no. <laughs> If we get rid of those, that $40,000 that we're paying, you know, to that one person, that could be books. You know, that could be a, a, a salary for a, a teacher. Yes. That can be a bus Teachers. monitor. That can be a crossing guard. You know, that can extend to a lot of things. So I feel as if we go into a, if we go in and we do a line by line and cut out. A, the a line by line on the Yonkers budget you're talking about? Yes. Okay. If we do a, yes, if we go in and we do a line by line on the budget and cut out some of this unnecessary spending, mm -hmm. I think between that and um, fighting and saying, why are our children getting less than a child in Buffalo? Does it, you know, are they better than our children? Do you know why are our children underserved? And I feel like if we start by doing that, I mean, a lot of people might not be happy. Yeah, we're well, about you know, <laughs> it's time family. for change. Change is, is coming. It's time for change. It is. I mean, a lot of people won't be happy, but um, we'll start cutting into the deficit. And I just think that that's a start. Sounds about right. Okay, so Buffalo, just so I know now from my own personal, Buffalo is the second largest, Yonkers is the fourth largest. Okay. So is it is it much bigger? Their population is 258. So they're not too much bigger than There's Yonkers. not. We could, we're 215 now, and, and wait till the census comes out. Well, we well, are technically is, this, 195. Right, as of 2017, they were, uh, they were, as of 2017, 258. 
and, and six hundred and some change. So they still not another fifty thousand more than you know, So it's not it's not that much of a big city. But we have crumbling schools. We need we no, should have state of well. You art. have three schools that are being built. One of them is going to be in, in your district. district. Yes, yes. yes. And can but, you make sure, please, ooh, that they give it a name? That it's plausible, a name, you know, foot, that fits the district, that, a name. Thank you. You know, you know what you I'm know what talking we should about. Do? Why don't, you know, when they name these things, why don't they let the community have a voice in this? Well, they're doing it with the parks now lately. Well, with the schools, I think that should also be. Yeah. You know, every they need to get the community more involved because they're saying. I don't need another O'Rourke school. I don't need another. God, I love you, Martin Ellis. Another. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You yeah, got to do your I, thing when you get in there. Yes. I think, you know, we should leave some of these, let the public get involved. Yeah. And that's one of the things. They're being shut out of a lot of things. So, um, I was looking at some people who were just tuning in. Uh, one of your opponents had just tuned in and tuned out. Um, <laughs> I, um, um, that what that's the way it is. They're always in and out, in and out. At least Tasha stays wherever she goes. Yes. I'm just saying. I, 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 I ain't saying it for that reason. I was just, I was gonna acknowledge the president's presence, but they tuned out, so I'm not gonna say that. Name. No but, need um, to. No need. But to. um, yeah. Any anything else you want the people to know? Um, any last words? Any um, anything I didn't ask you? Come out June 25th and vote for the people's person, which is Tasha Diaz. If you want. Implemented effective change. Vote Tasha Diaz. Eleven A. Just go in and bubble in eleven A. That's what's up. That's what's for up. long lasting and significant changes in yes. the community, right? Yes, I'm here for longevity. There you go. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, Lorraine, anything you want to talk about? Anything you want to um address? Before? I'm not allowed to. You're not allowed. You can't, I just want to say, I want to wish now. you the best. Thank I can. You. I can what? If, if her interview is over, you can now. Oh, okay. The interview is over. Uh, I, I have to do a disclaimer. Tasha is my niece. I am supporting her. Um, I would like everybody that's watching to please come out and vote for her. Am I allowed to say that, AJ? You just said it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, um, being a former council person myself and coming from the same area, Southwest area as Tasha is. Um, I, 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 I know that she's got what it takes. I know that she's a, and not only because I know her, not only because I've seen it in action, but she is. She got what it takes to make a change in her community to bring forth a lot of positive changes and a lot of goodwill for the people. So. Um, I just ask that, like I said, please don't look at how many boards a person belongs to because they ain't doing nothing but sitting there if they do go to the boards. Think about persons that have created the boards. You know, there's a difference. There's a big difference. And I just want to wish you good luck. And um, if I lived in the district, I would certainly be voting for you. But I have friends in there that would I'll be calling them and family members that we have in common that um, – um, I, if you let me, I'm just gonna big up her, her in a long way. So, so I just want to say, so um, on the show, we can't tell you who to vote for. No, no, we but, can't. But, 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 but um, I mean, one of the things that you should look, one of the criteria should be, you know, there are people. You know, this time of year, you're gonna see a lot of people come to your church. You're gonna see a lot of people come now to shake your hands and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and then if they win. You don't see them again until they run in again. Um, if you don't, if they don't win, you won't see them no more. Sometimes you want to look for people. What I look for, I'm just gonna speak. What I look for, I look for people that um, I see in the community um, that move without titles, and 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 those are the type of people That's that it. I That's what I'm that I want to. Um, those are the people. Those are the type of people that I want to. Um, I want to support people who move without titles that 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 do it. You know, it's not it's it's it's, it's for a purpose and not a position. They're running for purpose. You know what I'm saying? And um, and those are the kind of qualities. And you want somebody honest? Yes. Yeah. No, those are the kind of qualities that I look for. So, like I said, those are the things that I advise people to look at um, with all the candidates and all the races and all the municipalities in Westchester and all the places that can hear my voice after this. 